What's good, YouTube? It's your boys, Aaron Shine. Back at it again with another reaction video. Today we have Lil Tay, Money Way, aka the youngest flexer known to fucking man. It's safe to say that she is our generation's Leonardo da Vinci, without a hands doubt. Without a hands doubt. Without without a shadow of a fucking doubt. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm on a fucking well, fat burner. It feels like my body is just fucking. It feels like I'm just. Like, I, I had some bull shark testosterone. Testosterone. I can't talk worse shit. I know what the fuck is going on here. <sighs> Healthy. Um, what the fuck was this video? What the hell is this shit about? What am I talking about? I'm tired of shit. Um, oh yeah, the youngest fucking flexer known to man. She's out here with all kinds of money. Let me tell you what the fuck I was doing at nine year old. I was getting fucking bullied, all right? I was getting fucking bullied. It fucking sucked. I ended up taking karate classes. I don't know. I fucking, uh... You know what? I, I'm going to save this story for another time. But basically, I was getting fucking bullied. So, you know, I wish I could be sitting there with, with tons of money talking about, You want to fucking fight, bitch? I was wearing sweatpants. I looked like shit. I had some light-up shoes. My mom tricked me. It wasn't like... She's like, yeah, you want some Jordans? Which you really shouldn't give to a fucking child anyway because they're going to destroy them. But she's like, look at these. It tells you how fast you run. They were a blue and white pair of Skechers that I got at Payless. Me and my brother, LV Skinny, we got identical pairs. They weren't the same, but they were close. You could press it and you How fast did I go? I couldn't even fucking tell the time. I didn't know meters or anything. I didn't know any of that. But they light up and it was fuego. So I was like, all right, bet. But yeah, in the black community, that is frowned upon highly. So they were just like, the fuck is this weird ass nigga? He's a fucking nerd. So I was hanging with niggas trying to play fucking Sonic on the Game Boy Advance. The little game they had where you could play as all the characters. I don't know. That's my shitty life story. Let's get into this bitch. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know that was in there. Professional fucking flexor. That this is perfection at its finest. I'm not gonna lie. This song is probably a 10 out of 10 on everything. I think I'd rather listen to this than the no, the new J Cole album KLD. I think I, I think I listen to Lil Tay. But um, it's, it reminds me of Lil Pump. But she's still swagging. That is so like I can't even hate on that. You are fucking flexing at nine years old. Like, and you you're trying to fight people like. You know how much heart you have to have to be able to do that? And someone's probably going to be in a comment section, oh, they're all fake and blah, blah, blah. Fuck it. <laughs> you were nine years old, and now you have clout and all that. So if you want to do something over the next couple of years, you're going to remain young. Then you can go through puberty. Then you can switch it up. But you always have that fan base. You did it at an early age. I wish I fucking had fans at nine. I don't know how well that would go in my life now that I think about it. But you have tons of people that are going to watch you as you develop and grow unless you just get washed the fuck up you start doing some damn drugs well you know what you can do drugs in this day and age actually before they're like he's washed up he's off drugs these niggas ain't performing unless they have the drugs they're like man he's not on cocaine so i don't really want to watch him so she's smart as fuck for what she's doing i don't even know if this is a fucking official video this is just her with the iphone she's standing at a whopping two foot eight with a little fucking she has a pink giraffe shirt on with a little, just some generic fucking shit you wear as a kid because your mom's like, hey, be cute on you, even though you look like a little fuck. So, yeah, I fuck with her though. Oh, 
sound is. dance to this shit, but it's fucking fire. And she got the, uh, the Hot Boy style cover that is bad graphics, but it's good graphics at the same time. So that's pretty dope. Or if you're this age, you could say that, uh, it's the, uh, Task Force, Lil B type of cover. Blue Flames, all that. that Lil B's visionary for that. But, um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to the comment section. Fuck it. Let's see what they gotta say. I'm sure it's all good stuff. Bad news. Lil Tay is currently on how? How the fuck is Lil Tay on house arrest? What? Nah, 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 nah. He's trolling. Someone's trolling. If this is how the next generation is gonna be, I'm gonna jump off a cliff. You know what? You're fucked. Uh, cringy. Nah, this shit fire. Someone getting wing wong. That is fucking racist. All right. I th I'm pretty sure that's a Chinese name. I don't know. She actually trying to be a rip off Lil Pump. Huh? Anyone here before Rice Gummy Act? Someone needs to call Child Protective. You know what? Let this little shit live, alright? Let her fucking live her life, damn it. And I'm not saying that. I'm saying this because she's comes across as an underdog. I had no idea who the fuck she was until I seen, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? And then I was like, yo, is that is that that's not Whoa Vicky. I was like, who the fuck is this little nigga? I was like, oh shit. And they're like, this Lil Tay, she's a professional flexer. I'm like, nigga, I didn't know that was an occupation. There's a lot of professional flexors here. These niggas poor and broke as shit. And I'm one of them. So, yeah, I, I, I can't hate on the grind. She she does what she wants to fucking do. It's all going to depend on what direction she takes with it. Because you can only, when you're flexing and all that, you got to have it. Cause if motherfuckers suspect like that you don't actually have that money, they're gonna start digging. They be like, "Oh, the fuck up! This nigga is broke as shit. I ain't flexing on this. This money fake." They gon' they pulling up like that. So it's all how she's doing. I don't know the details on that. Y'all can fill me in, please, cause I don't know her family background, and all that. I do fuck with the song though. And some of y'all be like, "How you gonna say the song good?" And then on the song they had the lyricism. It was 17 minutes. It was lyrical. All oh, yeah. it was trash. All right, I judge songs by what lane I'm, I'm thinking they're going to be in. If someone is credited as a lyrical person, a super lyrical person, then what the fuck going on my stomach? I'm making crazy noises. Um, Yeah, if someone's deemed a lyrical, lyrical person, then I will sit there and judge them off of that compared to their previous work and their contemporaries. But if it's someone that's making high music, I'm going off how I feel on that because I'm not, I'm not viewing that as a fucking serious thing where I'm like, what was that line? Lil Tay? Ooh. <laughs> not good enough. Now nah, I'm not viewing it like that, so she can keep doing her own thing. If you like this, you want more, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe. Till next time. Peace.